All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. And we had to add someone else to the team because we lost someone else from the team. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our team. We have Perry the Empoleon. Don the Hariyama. Smells what I told you about farting. Smells the Scun Tank. John Pella the Frost Lass. Queen the Altaria, and now introducing Snack the Ninja. Snack was once a Ninkata, and we evolved Snack into Ninja. Now, of course, I'm a Pokemon Master. I'm a Pokemon Master, so that also means that we have um, a Shed Ninja in the box. Because if you evolve Ninkata at level 20, or whenever, whatever level you decide to evolve it at, starting at level 20, and you have both an open spot on your team, as well as uh, an empty Pokeball in your box, then you can get a uh, Ninkata. Uh, I'm sorry, Ninjask leaves its shell behind, and you get two Pokemon. You get two. So we have a uh, uh, Shedinja in the box in the event that we need it. Pray that we don't. Pray that we don't. It's a calm nature. It's a calm nature. Silly thing. He's calm nature ninja. Uh it's holding the muscle band, the one that Charge was once holding. We gave it to We gave it to Snack. It's moveset. Alright. So here's here's the deal. Here's the deal when it comes to ninja. It has the ability of speed boost. At the end of each turn, if it's still alive on the battlefield, it will gain a speed stat. It will move up one ladder in the speed stat. You can go up a total of six. That's important. That's important. It also knows for its moves, Swords Dance, which raises attack by two. Again, you can go up by a total of six. You can go up or down by a total of six. That's important. It also has Double Team. Why are all three of those important? Well, because it also knows Baton Pass. So here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do with Snack. It's more or less the same thing we did with Sneak, if you guys remember. If you don't. The point is to have Snack last for six turns, or, or as many as possible, and use uh, Speed Boost and Swords Dance, as well as Double Team if need be, and then Baton Pass out to somebody else. When you use Baton Pass, it lets you switch your Pokemon with someone else in your party, and any stat changes that have happened, whether positive or negative, uh, the Pokemon that's coming out will hold those. So it's very, it's very cool that we can use baton pass on snack and give so much speed and power to a pokemon that's slower like uh perry perry's pretty slow if i remember correctly or we can give it to something that's very generally weak on the physical side like chompella chompella should be weak on the physical side um we could also do both of those to queen who has dragon dance who can make that go much much faster and be much much stronger because the only attack the only physical Damage, I'm sorry, damage dealing attack that Snack has is Slash, which isn't a bad move on itself, but that means uh, Snack is not a diverse Pokemon. And to make it worse, it's Bug and Flying. So we have to be careful with Snack. Snack is a powerhouse in his own right, but we have to be careful with Snack. And that's our team, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're in Saffron City. Like I mentioned, we're going to be handling a little bit of business today. We're going to make sure that the business is handled, and we're going to head to another city. I take my guard job seriously. Hey, you have a Pokedex. Okay, you can go through. That's all it took. That's all it took. All right. You guys very much care about the security of, of the region of Kanto. Another route. We'll get another encounter some other time. We got business to handle today, ladies and gentlemen. We're in Celadon City. What is this? What in the world? Is that supposed to be a tree? What in the world is that? Hey, look at this guy. He's got a Polyrath. You guys remember him? This is my trusty pal, Polyrath. I wonder if it'll become a frog Pokemon someday. Science jokes. That's what we came here today for. Science jokes. All right, we're in the Pokemon Center. Let's heal up. <clears throat> Don't remember if I healed the team after the last battle, but we definitely need it. We definitely need it. So I'm going to heal. There's no problem with healing, guys. If you have a problem with healing, there's something wrong with you. Not with, not with healing, with problems with you. Okay. Let's see if we can go to 
a few of the the major I shouldn't say locations, major major tourist attractions, I guess, here in Celadon City. The first being the Celadon Department Store. I actually do make need to make a stop here. Not just visit, but I need to make a stop. Hello, welcome to Celadon Department Store. The directory is on the wall next to the elevator. All right, let's check the directory. There's a thing I need to buy here. Pretty sure it's here. Service counter, trainer's market, TM shop, Wiseman gifts, power collection. All right, I think we either need what was that? We even need the second floor, or the floor or the fourth floor. So let's take the stairs. Let's not be lazy today. Let's get our exercise in. Get them squats as we're going up the stairs. Hey, look at this man. Don't we know this man? Hmm. Hmm. Um. Ah, this is quite a mask. Huh? You talking to me? Your eyes are on my crash or wake mask? No, no, no. I can never let it go. Huh? That's not it. You want the other mask? Okay. A Tartwig mask. Cool. What? That's not enough? You're quite the negotiator for your age. All right. I'll give you this too. We got a Chimchar mask. All right. All right. I'll give you this much valued one as well. We got a Piplock mask. Perry was once a Piplock. It's okay. I already paid for you. Presents for you from the one who wears masks the best. Don't be shy. Ha <laughs> ha. I have a feeling like we're going to run into that guy in the future. <laughs> the log predicted future. Welcome. What do you need? Let's see. Do they have what I have, what I want in stock? No, he doesn't. Let's talk to this man. Let's talk to this man. Pokeballs. Poke dolls. He got mail. That's it. Okay, so it's not this floor. I guess we need to go to the um the fourth floor. The items I'm looking for are probably on the fourth floor. We have a we have a duty that we actually need to accomplish in this episode. And then we should be ready for it by next episode. Let's see. Nope, not here either. Do they not sell the item that I want? Let's check the directory one more time. I'm looking for a certain stone in case you didn't figure it out. Wiseman gifts. Okay, so we have to go all the way down to the bottom floor to to look at the directory. Fine, fine. Take us to the first floor, ma'am. First floor, please. Elevator going down. First floor is the service counter and the main entrance. Thank you, ma'am. All right, let's check the directory one more time. Service counter, trainer's market. Neither neither of these floors have what I want. The TM shop and the Wiseman gifts. I don't think they sell uh, stones in the TM shop. Battle collection and rooftop atrium. All right, let's go check the fifth floor. And if that doesn't work, we can check the third floor. Interesting line of logic. If what you've tried doesn't work, try what you haven't tried. So we'll go to the fifth floor first, since that makes the most sense. And then after that, we'll go to the third floor, since we haven't tried it yet. How about that? How about that for logic? All right, here we go. Let's see. Do they have... They have X-Defend and all that. It's not what I'm looking for. And they have Protein and all that. It's not what I'm looking for. All right, I guess we can't get stones from here. I want to buy some items that raise Pokemon stats, but I don't have enough money. Well, I guess you don't want to... You, you, you better go to work. You better go to work. They don't have what... To be honest, they don't have what I'm looking for. And it makes me sad. That's the whole reason we came to Celadon City today. But I guess we could just we could look at some of the other locations in this location. I tried to avoid saying that. We'll look at some of the tourist spots in this wonderful city. There's a couple other things we can do here. Is the mansion not here anymore? The Celadon Mansion? Or the hotel, whatever? Celadon Condominiums. I guess they, they've upgraded their status. Alright. Celadon Condominium. Hi, ma'am. Do you need anything? I am the manager of these condominiums. It's pretty safe around here, so I don't have much to do. I like to take my Pokemon out to occupy myself. By the way, we have two elevators here. Don't get confused. All right. You ought to threaten me. Don't threaten me. Uh, let's take the stairs. And then we are here. Please take this elevator to go to the roof. Which one? This one? This elevator goes straight between the first and third floors. Okay, so this one goes to the roof. Let's, since we're here, let's go to the roof. 
Straight to the roof. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Oh, that was a short trip. All right, here we go. What is on the roof? There better be stuff up here. There better be stuff up here. This man. Let me recount a terrifying tale. Then again, it's not as scary while it's still light outside. Come back after sunset, okay? I guess I'll be playing this tonight. I guess I'll record a little bit of a night session for you guys. Because <sighs> I got work. After, <laughs> after I record this, I don't have time to, to sit here until nighttime. So what I will do, I guess I will do a night session. I need to take note. You do record a night session. Sell it on condominium. That's what we're going to do. Give me, give me just a second here. All right, guys. I'm doing a nighttime session. I know I'm not wearing the same clothes. That's because yesterday when I was recording, I was too tired when I got home. So I just did today. All right, so we're back here at the top of the Celadon condominiums. And we're going to go in this house and get our nighttime story, our scary story. All right, here we go. This man should be ready to tell his story. Perry, you ready? You ready for it? He looks very happy. He's ready for this story. All right, here we go. Let me recount a terrifying tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. He wanted to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice that it was already dark. While riding home in the pitch black night, the bike suddenly slowed. The pedals became heavy. The bike began slipping backward as if it was dragged by someone. It was as if the bike were cursed and trying to drag him into oblivion. Shriek! I can't shriek, it's, it's late at night. The boy had been riding uphill on Cycling Road. ba doom ba -dum. For listening so patiently, you may take this item. Spell tag. So, let me get this straight. I'm recording at 1.19 in the morning. After a long, a long shift at work. For a spell tag. Spell tag boosts the power of ghost type moves. It won't slow your bicycle, so don't worry. What the f Take the elevator up to the third floor. Game freak only. To the third floor we go. And then we'll go to the roof. Uh, both elevators go to the roof. There was one side that was sectioned off for one elevator, though. So that, that's what we're going to be stuck with, you know? Oh, look who it is. Look who we've run into. Hi, right, Jill. Guess what? The sound designer over there showed me something cool. It's a high-tech retro machine to listen to music from the Game Boy. He said he'll give it to anyone who has collected all of the Kanto badges. Why don't you go for it, Chill? See ya. All right, let's talk to all these men. I am the programmer. I control the world of games at my fingertips. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Your mini photo collection and books about myth. I'm the planner. I come up with great ideas. Oh, yeah? This place you're standing here is no exception. Ha <laughs> ha. What do you think? I'm the president here. We are remaking an old game, but this is quite a challenge. Old fans would not want us to mess with their good memories. You got that right. You got that right. But there's no point in just redoing the same thing, right? What you talking about? We are working towards something that brings back memories, yet is also completely new. I've been in this business for 20 years now, but creating a game is always a rewarding challenge. Oh yeah? I'm the graphic designer. I'm a skilled dot artist. I'm the sound designer. I compose music. I'll give you something cool if you manage to collect all eight Kanto badges and show them to me. Oh yeah? Alright, that's the thing we'll do. Well, when I get all eight badges, I need to be reminded to come back here. When, when I do get all the badges, I'm gonna be like, there was something that I need to do. There was something I need to do, but I can't remember. I need you guys' help. Remind me to come back here. Remind me to come back here once I get all eight badges, all eight Kanto badges. All right? It's up to you guys. If I don't, if I don't get it, if I don't get it, it's your fault, and I'm gonna be mad because it's pretty cool. All right, places. I do love them so. I'd say the only thing that loves height as much as me is smoke. That's all this man here is for. This man has no other existence other than saying that. Well, 
Time to leave. I need to figure out where to get the stones I'm looking for from. I don't know if it, if I can get them here in uh here in Kanto or if it's only possible to get them in Johto. I'm not sure. I am not sure. If it's only in Johto, then I guess I'll, make, I'll have to make a side trip to go back and get the stones that I need. Uh, let's see. What else can we do here within the lovely, the lovely city of, uh, of Celadon? Up here, up here, this place I just walked past. I'll show you why I just walked past it. Let's go inside real quick. This used to be a game corner. But now it's just more, uh, it's just more Voltor Flip. Voltor Flip, not a bad game. It's just not, you know, it's... Like I said before, it's not something that I should do in the middle of this playthrough. It's not super important. I'll have a side day. I'll have a side day where I just play Voltorb Flip. How about that? Remind me. And then this is where you get your rewards from your winnings and things like that. Let's check this house down here. What's, what's going on in this house down here? Oh, it's a bar. All right, man. <laughs> when it comes to eating contests, I'm quite confident that I can't handle all food. If I have to hurry eating, my mouth, hot, hot, hot. Is there an eating contest going on? Who is this This person with the pink hair? Munch, munch, munch. The eat-a-thon contest. I never dreamed of such a wonderful thing. After a strict diet during training, I can eat like a hippodon. The winner is free. That's just a dream come true. Maylene and hippodon. I feel like we'll run into this character in the future as well. Not entirely sure about this one. What? This is the Ethan Thon contest? Ouch. I thought this was the speed eating contest. What's the difference? What's the difference? Ouch, ouch. I can keep eating. More, chef. All right. Let's go tuck the chef in and be out. Hi. We're holding an Ethan contest. We can't save you right now. Sorry. All right. This was the most uneventful day ever, except for the fact that we came to Celadon City, which has a gym. The gym is right here. It's on the other side, though. Uh, we're not going to go to the gym just yet. Obviously, we're not ready. We're not ready for the Celadon City gym. They too tough. They too tough. If I'm not mistaken, though, if I'm not mistaken, no? No? I guess I'm mistaken. I guess I'm mistaken. There used to be a large sleeping Pokemon here, one that we would have to get rid of. Oh, shoot. We don't have anybody knows cut anymore. Oh, great. We got to go through this again. Uh, I guess we can head south from Soldan City. Let's talk to this man. Oh, you! Stop right there! You have to be on a bicycle to go on the cycling road. Excuse the hell out of me. Let's go get our bicycle. Let's go get our bicycle. All right, Perry. You got to go away for a while. Talk to me. Cycling road starts here. It's all downhill, so it's totally exhilarating. Some people prefer convenient and cool transportation, such as the fast ship and the magnet train. You prefer the bicycle, don't you? No, I actually like the the, uh, the whole idea of the, the magnet train. It's pretty dope. All right, so this is a downhill path. Once we start going downhill, it's really hard to go back up, which is okay because we have someone that can fly us up if we need to. Let's see, does A still hold us in place? No, no, it doesn't. So we just go fall. We just go fall. Ugh. I was just gonna say, I hope we don't fall into a train. It'll be all right. Hey, who told you to ride up and down this road? It's a free road, isn't it? Nobody charged me to come here. It must be a free road. Away, Lord. This man. This man is away, Lord. All right, who's on the team now? Who's on the team? Who wants to deal with Waylord? I believe Dawn's got this one. I believe this one is all Dawn. No dust. Brian, come on, Don. Yes, good work. Proud of you. Here's the close combat. Hold this close combat for me, fam, my lamb. Tanky behind whale. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Don. Good work. Ooh, that crit, though. Proud of you, Don. Proud of you. All right. Oh, that's all? That's all he got? A big old whale lord. That's all he got. Hey, trade phone numbers with me, old buddy. No, you just threatened me. You just threatened me, fam. Why would I trade numbers with you? Come on, sleep past the man. 
sneak past the man. Here we go. Oh, let's sneak past this man. Sneak past the man. There we go. I don't want to get into battles going down the cycling road, to be honest. I hate battling on the cycling road. Come on. We're done. We're down cycling road, ladies and gents. All right. And now we have established a, a position in the next city. Oh, let's talk to this man. Cycling road is all uphill from this end. It's really challenging. Although, it may be interesting to go up once pushing really hard on the pedals. All right. If that's how you feel. If that's how you feel. All right. So we've made our way to yet another city. Get off this bike. Can I get off this stupid bike? I hate the bike. <laughs> I hate the bike. We actually don't have a need for the bike anymore. So if you guys enjoyed seeing me on the bike, I'm sorry. But we're at Future City now. In Future City, another city with another gem. I think we've almost encountered every single city with the gem now. We're missing, I know we're missing one. Oh no, I forgot. There's Cinnabar Island, and there's also Pewter City. The one I forgot was Cinnabar Island. Okay, so once we, once we're able to visit every single gym, or every single city, we're able to visit every single gym. And then the fight shall be on, ladies and gentlemen. Made a little bit more progress today. We visited two cities. We got two more cities on our map, so we don't have to worry about traveling. We can fly between cities. Next, next episode, what we'll do, we'll get ready to go and fight. First off, why is this song playing? Excuse me. This isn't the right song, is it? Somebody's here that's not supposed to be here. We're not going to wrap it up just yet. Let's talk to everybody. Wait. Oh, this song's playing because we went on the radio, didn't we? Yeah, we won the radio. I'm a dumb. <laughs> I'm a dumb. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here. I thought it was something special. Turns out I'm just an idiot. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. And that's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke run, as well as everything else that Alt Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more. Here on Alt Play.